Hey people, K Slinker here. So I thought I'd do a quick video today to show the victory on me completing 10.8 on the normal. Just to show how I did it and also if anyone's struggling, just how I did get past this part of the game. I have only used 5 stars as well and I do think there was a bit of slight luck as you can see that comes into play. But for the team I used, I did use, uh, we go, we've got Balbriff, I did use him for some strength and a bit of power. I also used uh, Marion just for a bit of extra joint attack and also she can do a bit of damage here and there. I don't think she was the best kind of person for this part but she, she did her bit. I also used Astrina her, to get some ignites again, some extra damage. And I also used this time the four star Mary just for a bit of backup. I think she's so underestimated this girl and it just helps against Nicholas's ultimate attacks. So I'll quickly show you the video on how I did this. So yeah, I'm going to start from the start. I've skipped out some of the story. I don't want people to, to kind of spoil it if you haven't done it already, if they take interest in the story. So yeah, straight away first, I used the refuge just to get a bit of protection to get me through this first wave. And we've got Astrina using one of her specials there, which I'm just trying to windle down this first wave without causing too much damage to myself. Um, as you can see here, I'm going for the ambush there, just to take down that guy there. I've got a bit of poison coming on to Marie, Marion there, I should say. Um, but hopefully we should get past through this first stage. Again, without taking too much damage. Again, loads of poison on her, but it's no trouble now. Getting a bit of regen onto the next wave. So again, I'm trying not to use as much special as I can for this wave, just try and dwindle down the enemies, as I want to keep as much special power and ultimates before we get to the next stage. Again, some great, nice, big hits there. A bit more counter-attack as well from Astrina, which is good. I'm losing a bit more health than I really would have wanted, but it's okay, we can still hang in there. I know I'm going to get a bit more regen. We're going for the uh, Swirling Sword there, which is taking a lot of them out. I'm getting a bit of a hit back. Again, trying to keep as much energy as I can and not lose too much. That's true there, just going probably a bit more crit when I've finished that and then. And again, it could have been a bit more nicer, taking a bit more extra damage than I really needed to there for a strainer. But the joint attack and Battle Riff just finishes it off. And now we go to the final part. Again, I've just skipped the story, I don't want to ruin it for people. So first we're going to go straight for yeah, defense, get the defense down on all, all of the uh, enemy. And then we're going to go for the bonus turn for Balbrith there, just so it's going to get a bit more extra damage. Ashrina using her ultimate here, which are nice big red hits there, taking Nicholas down to 81%. And on Holy Redemption, again that's another great kind of damage to all there. And uh, we've also got, got some Ignites that's been put onto the rest of the guys. Again, you want to try and take out the, his little henchmen as best as you can while putting a lot of damage on Nicholas. So again, that was another great hit there from Balbrough, and he gets a second turn, which swiping down, I could have been a bit more lucky and got rid of a few more there, but there you go. So I've just, Mary's just done the Invincible ready, because I know Nicholas is going to launch his big next attack, so we could do with just not taking any damage from that at all. So again, getting rid of the last henchman there, and here comes his last attack. Taking some ignite damage, but again, should be no damage from this because we're all invincible. Losing the other henchmen was a bit lucky there from the ignite. And now it's just a case of getting down his shield all the way down as much as we can now, getting him down to his death immunity. And I've kept the water prison open, ready just to get rid of that. So again, not got much of the ultimate powers left, but just take as much damage as we can. Bit of ignite damage. We've lost the Shrina there, and we also lost Balbrith, but he got his. Uh, come back there as he does and it also refreshes his specials and that was another great big hit there lucky with that hit so again down two percent just a little bit more now just to take him to his death immunity which should happen now from marion to doing the lash and there goes the death immunity big swipe there but luckily enough it's still standing marion the water prison take down his shield and it's game over there and so there we have it i do think there was some luck with some big hits there and definitely some hits going to the right person like Marion she can really take a punch and really take off some of that health 
you don't want her to be taking off other people out there so she can really help kind of taunt be nice if she had that taunt to be fair just to help um with the damage also the water prison is perfect for this guy removing that death immunity shield just at the right time just saying you've just got to get one percent down which near enough any champ can do i have seen his chapter completed many times with like zat lux and kira if you've got them champs great go for it do you know what i mean but i'm, I'm not that lucky to get them yet It'd be great to hear what you guys and girls are getting on i mean my next challenge is going to be hard so i'm going to need to level up some of my heroes and also i'll have some summons along the way so hopefully i might pull a decent hero to help that would be a bonus but it'd be great to hear how anyone else has got any tips help with us out there that's always good to hear as always thanks for watching please if you enjoy my videos don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on your way out take care bye bye